Okay, so Chrono Trigger, part three. Fighting Naga Ets here. <laughs> okay, oh, I should have... That was Chrono, I should have used the friggin... Uh... Ah, I got one, though. I was going to use Cyclone on the two that are, like, ganging up on him. It's a Chrono Trigger gangbang here. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's what's going on. Ah, damn it. Come on. Oh, I'm, I'm done with magic points. Okay. Alright, so before I get my ass kicked, let's unload on these things. Naga Ets. There's actually a pretty amusing joke about Naga Ets uh, somewhere later in the game that um, I'll point out to you. It's it's pretty obscure. Yeah. Racing Chrono's attacking so much more often as Luca was slowed in the last video, and she's already the slowest character in the game. Add to the fact that she uh, <laughs> has the slow effect on her. Okay, not bad. Hee what a shock! Oh shit! Ah! Kya! And here's Keru, also known as Frog. Don't let your guard down till the end. That's when you're drunk with victory, and your guard's wide open. Did you come to aid the queen too? Looks like their den from here. It looks like it, blah, blah, blah. okay. Let's try that again. It looks like it's their den from here on. How's this? Would you come with me? Y you're Chrono. You know, right? I can't stand frogs. Well, as long as I'm like this, I guess I'd be pointless telling you to trust me. Fine, do what you want, but I've got to help the queen out. Oh, hold on. You don't seem like a bad fra uh, person. Um, what'll we do, Chrono? Let's join the Frogman. Let's put up with it and go together. What's your name? Well, okay, you know, it, it, it doesn't allow a long name like Keru. Which just means frog anyway, so we're just gonna call him Frog. Frog's fine. His real name's Glenn anyway. Yes, well then, don't be too hard on me, Frog. <laughs> hard on. Sure, I'm positive there's a secret passage somewhere in this room. I'll bet we can get in the back from there. Alright, so first things first, let's check him out. Oh, you notice that it already has the, uh, you know, even though we haven't had magic, it already says heaven, fire, and water. Uh, I'm just going to see if I have anything that he can... You know, he's already got better stuff than on a power glove. Okay. Alright, so you go p play the piano. If you're wondering about... Uh, well, the organ, rather. Not a piano at all. An organ. Two completely different types of instruments, despite looking like each other. If you're wondering about uh, Where's Frog's Medieval Accent, that was never part of the original Japanese game, so it was taken out of this version. There's some guys. Because... Um, well, nobody else in his era talks like that, so there's no reason for him to talk like that. And in the flashbacks, he didn't talk like that. So you could think that, you know, um, well, maybe it was because he was a frog that he talked like that? That doesn't make much sense, but... Yeah, Luca has a little hammer that she can hit enemies with if they're too close, kind of like Marl smacks enemies with her crossbow if they're too close. So yeah, the, the accent, the ridiculous way of talking is not part of this version of the game, this retranslation. I forgot if it was part of the DS version. Yeah, Chrono, Luca leveled up there. Okay. I got an Athena drop, and a potion. So here's more of these guys, Diablos. Chrono and Luca are a little low, but I mean, these enemies are really not that big of a deal, and there's, there's places to heal coming up, so... I don't really worry about that shit too much. Plus, Frog can actually uh, heal them if he wants to. As a matter of fact, I think right after this battle, I'll do that. Okay. So, yeah. But also, there was one of the endings in the original game where Frog talked like a normal person, so... There we go, you know. Yeah, let me let me get let me get them healed. Let's see, he should, he should have started with the Slurp. Yeah, Slurp uh, heals. We'll use that. There we go. Much better. Let's go up this way. And we'll go across this way. Get these guys. Ching! Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> oh man, just everybody just fucking gangbang Chrono. Why not? You know? He's there. You know, just kick him in the ass, kick him in the dick. Just beat the shit out of Chrono. Jeez. 
<laughs> so finally you get to see some freaking battles. There are no random battles in this game. Oh, she just learned Flamethrower and Dual Tech Fire Whirl. Okay. The Dual Techs are two characters team up to do something. Then there's Triple Techs or three characters will team up to do something. Here we have some Nashers. So even though there's no random and you can walk past most, and there's some scripted battles you have to fight, but... Um, and there's parts where it's hard to get past enemies. But um, you can avoid a lot of the battles in this. I'm not going to. I recommend you fight everything you see, because the battles are really not all that tedious in this, and um, you need the golden experience. Got an Athena drop and look a leveled up. You don't need to grind, though, which is pretty cool if you're not into grinding. I, I like it, but whatever. Hmm? What? You guys hurry up and turn back to your normal forms, too. Don't go looking like humans forever. There's a bunch of drunk monsters. I guess it's almost time for my shift. <laughs> Disguising as a human. It's, it's lame, and it stinks. The ones we ate recently weren't all that nasty. Sooner or later, those two soldiers we have locked up. <laughs> Yakra's plan is perfect. Capturing the Chancellor and disguising himself as a Chancellor. Oh, I'd expect nothing less of Yakra. Thanks to him, we kidnapped the Queen easy. And I bet all of them at the castle are going nuts now. <laughs> Alright. If you hang around long enough, one of them shows you where there's a secret passage. But since I know where it is, I don't have to worry about that. Uh, this is pretty amusing. See? 100 gold. Could it be that you've come to rescue the Queen? Oh, so you really were. Good of you to come. The Master here, Yakra, will surely be pleased as well. Now then, you should rest in this room until Yakra can see to you. You come to rescue me. However, that was not necessary. The Master here, Yakra, is a very good person. I've decided to live here. Now, you make yourselves home as well. Ether. It's a little, kind of a hard to see door there. Ah, oh, Magus, Magus. Yeah, they're singing about Magus. I just come here to get the items. You get a speed belt. And you get a protector. Now, the speed belt is a pretty good thing to give Luca because she's slow. So I'm going to give that to her. Um, the protector I'm not going to use. I think you have to fight them if you try to leave. Though. Or not, right. not there, but certainly here. Yeah. Don't be such a rush to leave. Please, take your time here. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's Nashers. Okay. Let's fight these assholes. They're not really a big deal. Boom, motherfucker. Yeah, hit the frog for once. <laughs> so that the confusion, um, you know, Karu, or frog, you know, it doesn't matter what you call them. I mean, Karu just means frog in Japanese. But um, his real name is Glenn. And then in the sequel to this, or rather the remake of the sequel to this, which was called Chrono Cross, there's a character named Glenn. But, uh, and there's a lot of references there, but they're not the same character. It looks like he got poisoned. But the one thing about... I've seen a drop. One good thing about getting poisoned and, you know, status ailments is they don't carry on. They don't carry on after battle in this game. So even though he was poisoned during the battle, he's now not poisoned. So, once a battle ends, you don't gotta worry about that shit anymore. There's some Diablos. Now they're just gonna gangbang Frog. He's pretty powerful, but uh, later in the game he kinda becomes weaker. The water-based characters tend to be weaker for whatever reason. Well, there's two of them, him and Marl. And he's not nearly as good as Marl, as Marl becomes, like, the fucking heart of my party later on in the game. I do use everybody, though. Chrono leveled up. My last party is usually Chrono, Marl, and Magus. Or sometimes Chrono, Marl, and Ayla. Uh, yeah, okay, you get a lady suit, a potion, and an ether. Let's equip that lady suit right away. Obviously, it's female only, so give it to Luca. And if you look here, you can get the secret Naga at Bromide. You'll have to fight three henches, but it's it, it's, it has to do with the Naga at joke I was telling you about. Hey, these guys are humans, boss. A prize bromide. Bully the girls. <laughs> so weird. Alright. It may be an accurate retranslation, but... Ooh, maybe I'll do fire whirl. I don't have enough magic. Oh, well. Actually, flamethrower would have worked really well here, but I'm already attacking. Yeah. 
after this this big area, there's another big area where there's like a safe point, and you could use a shelter there to uh, heal everything up, including your magic. But you will need magic, really, for the boss. It's very important to fight Yakra. You'll need to do the, the double techs a lot if you want to be effective at it. All right. Frog leveled. You learn Slurp Slash and learn a dual tech X Slash. Pretty cool. Yeah, Frog seems really powerful right now, but he's not really all that powerful. Steel Edge is a weapon for Frog, I think. Oh no, it's for Chrono. As I say, Frog uses swords, but he doesn't use katanas. He uses broad swords. So. If you think that a weapon's for him or for Chrono, and it's not, it's the other one. Oh, you can actually heal up right here. Ah, oh, it's a power tab. Never mind. I thought it was a heal thing. Okay, well, whatever. It can't be. You're humans? The queen is imprisoned in the back. Please rescue the queen. I heard there's a room somewhere in this building enshrining that hateful Magus. I heard there's a treasure there, too. They left Magus's name the same. He was called Mao in the original uh, Japanese ones. He's the power tab. Is it on Chrono? One thing about Frog is right now he's a temporary member. He won't be joining the party permanently until later in the game. Alright, let's go up the middle. As you can see, even though the enemies generally don't respawn, there's some that do. So this is the third time I'm actually fighting these guys. But, you know, it's it, it's a quick battle. I mean, it's not like... it's a big deal. But this game, I mean, there's a lot of things about it, like the different animations for critical hits, showing that the weapons look different when you equip them. You know, uh, things like that. Wait, fiends! <laughs> It's just nice little touches like that that I, I say, I, I always say, I think that this is the first modern RPG. It, it really kind of told you that the 16-bit era was coming to a close and that we're, we're moving into something more, you know? It was one of Square's, one of Square's last games on the Super NES. They had some games that came out after it in Japan, like Treasure of the Rudras, but I believe it was their last game in America. Remember, uh, I found out about this because somebody somebody lent it to my uncle and I would play it at his house. And uh, then I like, I was like 14 or 15 at the time and I asked for for like my birthday or whatever. My grandmother got it for me. And, um, oh, too bad I can't do Cyclone here. I could use an Athena thing but no sense in it. You know, and it cost like $80 at the time. There we go. Thank you, Luca. The thing about... Yeah, I got an Athena drop. The thing about uh, flamethrowers is that it hits one enemy and anybody that else between you and that enemy. So always attack the enemy that's furthest from you. I only have one shelter, which is a shame. I'll have to stock up on them after I get out of here. I like to carry at least 15 of them or so. <laughs> it's like a friggin' haunted house. I had little animations like that, like the enemy sliding down the, the banister there. That was pretty cool. I got a mad bat and a hench. Oh, get that fucking bat. They're hard to hit. Yeah, I got them. They're weak, but they just, you know, you miss them half the time. My hench is pretty far away from me. Maybe I can get him before he attacks. Cause he's got to get near me to attack me. There we go. All right. Up we go. There's two paths in this, and you do have to take them both. But oh, Sometimes to trigger these guys, there you go. There's like an invisible spot you have to touch. Man, with your fucking high kick showing your fucking demon balls, get the fuck out of here. A little low on time, so right after this battle, I would say I'm going to uh, break the video, and there'll be another part for today. Get that fucking bat, man. Don't let that asshole fly around like that. Flapping his fucking stench in this piece and whatnot. Chrono leveled. Alright, so I'm going to pause it there. I'm going to save it there. And I'll see you real soon with part four.